Hi right, guys, today I want to talk about whether or not you can use a regular speaker of any brand or whatever in your guitar amp versus having to use specifically a guitar speaker. This has been a subject of debate for years and I've known guys who have used just um, PA speakers in their guitar rigs, anything they could afford that was cheap. I understand that. That's the background I come from. If it's cheap, I generally have to make it work. But there are huge differences in a guitar speaker versus say a PA speaker or you know a Sony bookshelf speaker or something that you uh, listen to music back on in your house and the main difference is um, just the way they move the air the way they vibrate basically um, ever since the beginning of time speakers have basically been designed the same it's just applying an electromagnetic field to a coil of wire that is on the back of diagram a diaphragm and it moves that diaphragm back and forth and that's what creates the sound but the way that diaphragm is constructed plays a critical role in your tone. So what's the difference between a guitar speaker and a regular speaker? Here I have a 10 inch speaker that came out of a, uh, a Randall guitar combo amp. And this is just, uh, just the bottom of the line, 10 inch, you know, cheap Chinese made, whatever they put in there. I made a little cab for the heck of it because I thought it'd be funny to make one out of a cardboard box. Uh, you know, for those interested, it sucks. If you look around the edge of the speaker, it has doping, okay? The stuff that actually sticks the diaphragm to the surround that sticks the surround to the uh, basket. And some speakers, PA speakers and stuff, will be completely covered in that stuff or they'll be impregnated with things like Kevlar or just have really stiff paper. And that's the big difference, is music can be played back through a guitar speaker, but it will not sound the same if played back through a PA speaker that's meant to play back music. A regular PA speaker is gonna be much stiffer, and the whole cone is going to move as one unit. And this is the big difference. A guitar speaker does not vibrate like that. A guitar speaker can vibrate uh, it, it's sort of a looser built speaker in the diaphragm. It can vibrate sort of independently so that different spots on the speaker are making different sounds. I don't want to say different sounds, but producing ever so slightly different frequencies. And what that does is it allows these speakers for guitar amps to color the tone and it makes things not sound as sterile. That's why if you've ever taken a combo amp, like for instance, I have a PV Backstage 30 back over there and I replaced the stock speaker with an Eminence Delta Demon. That's why the tone can change so drastically from speaker to speaker. Um, these speakers are designed to act differently and color your tone differently, and they respond at different volumes differently too. That's why if you have a really good tube amp, you crank up the tube amp, of course the tubes are gonna sound better, but it's also gonna change the way the speakers react. So a lower wattage speaker is gonna break up faster than a higher wattage speaker. So that, that just means the way it's gonna react. You, you just start getting a little distortion or compression. So a PA speaker is meant to stay at uh, the same frequency response as it goes up as much as possible. So it, you don't want a PA speaker breaking up. You wanna be able to crank it up and have it stay nice and clear and crisp, pristine. And that's the same way with house speakers. Now, of course, if you pull a woofer out of a house speaker, it's going to be probably uh, a lot more low frequencies than you want to have in your guitar speakers. I definitely wouldn't recommend that. But I did, uh, when I was in high school, I hooked a guitar amp to some Sony 15s that were paper cone, vintage, like 70s uh, Sony 15s, and for some reason, they sounded good. You never know. The short answer, though, is yes. As long as the ohmage maps, uh, as long as the ohmage matches, and the wattage can, uh, your amp can handle it, and your speaker can handle the wattage from your amp. Yes, you can play your guitar through any kind of speaker you want, but it's probably going to sound flat. I would say the speaker has just as much of an effect in your guitar tone as the amp does. So, while I would not recommend playing your guitar through house speakers. It can be done as long as you make sure the homage matches your amp so you don't fry your amp I would recommend going out and trying to find uh, you know let's say you got a, a little 25 watt combo amp get a few different speakers and try it out 
um, because you'll be surprised at the the depth of tone you'll get out of just a few different speakers like uh, throw a Celestion in there find an old Jensen throw an Eminence in there um, and the thing about guitar speakers too is as I mentioned they break up differently as they get louder some are meant to be more like PA speakers in that they're meant to stay clearer with more volume that's why you get 150 watt 12s and things like that um, for instance I have uh, loaded my PV Valve King cab with two 12 inch Swamp Things and two 12 inch uh, Patriot Texas Heats from Eminence and the point for that wasn't to make it sound good at low volume because at low volume it's not going to sound very good that is a high volume my amp dimed out full live cab and it sounds great because that's when those speakers come alive is that full volume so you have to think about that but one of my favorite things is just to mess around with speaker combinations and sometimes stupid cab combinations and try to to find out that difference you know like what what's going to sound good and you know what can i get a garagey sound out of you know maybe you want a crappy old garage tone find yourself a 15 watt old 10 inch house speaker throw it in a crappy cab and maybe you'll find the garage tone you're looking for you know some kind of trashy old tone but that's something to think about and that's why it's so cool when you take like an sm57 or whatever you mic your cabs with and you move it across you move it across the speaker you're going to see a uh, tonal variety on a guitar speaker that you won't find on a regular speaker if you were to just throw it in there because again the diaphragm different sections are going to be vibrating a little bit differently and it's going to color the tone differently and that's why most people close mic their cabs and they find that sweet spot that's why you go to a studio they'll have an old amp there and they'll have it taped off where that sweet spot is you know usually it's somewhere a little bit between the dust cap and the uh, edge of the cone so I hope this has enlightened you guys a little bit and I hope you enjoyed the video and you know my studio definitely needs to be cleaned I was just in the middle of that when I saw this and kind of started thinking about this stuff so hope you got some information out of that appreciate you guys supporting we have just crossed 500 subscribers to me that is freaking awesome I think we're at like 506 as of uh, January 3rd so that's pretty kick-ass so thanks guys and I uh, will be doing Daryl and I will be doing a video to sort of uh, celebrate that here soon Thanks for sticking around, and I'll see you next time.